you see me, do you believe in a higher love? Somebody let the sun come up again. Welcome back, guys, to the stream of This Is Live. And I want to say uh, thank you so much for those of you who's been actually, uh, you know, uh, watching my uh, live stream and watching my uh, This Is Live. I, I know it has been, uh, you know, I, I told you that I'm going to be back. And yes, I'm back. Uh, well, hold on a second. Now. Let me just answer this uh, WhatsApp. All right. So I'm actually back. So uh, I've been doing live stream and uh, this is live for quite a while now. And um, hopefully you guys are enjoying my this is live. And I have a few topics coming in. And today is Thursday. Yes, today's Thursday the 12th. Yeah, I'm going to do a live now. And I think tomorrow I have another uh, set of um, uh, uploads that I'm going to give to all of you. But today is about this is live. So I hope you guys are staying fantastic. And uh, you know, guys, a pandemic is ending. It's called Endemi now. And I think almost every school has gone back now and i think um if you know like i like i know uh, principals everywhere like all the schools in, in indonesia and in jakarta so did i what i know is that school is coming back very very soon isn't that excited i'm so excited man like to see what can i say to see people face to face is just super excited for me and um i just can't believe it like like we're coming back to school and then i think training is going to be back on uh, on site and everything's just gonna be great i'm very excited for it you know and um to tell you the truth uh if you guys are new to the channel and uh, you know you stumble across this channel and you're watching this tomorrow at 10 o'clock or it's either you're watching it now uh, i just want to let you know that if you're new please make sure you subscribe before you leave the channel because it really helps me a lot i mean it's free Gratis nggak harus bayar juga kalau subscribe and make sure we, before you leave if you like the content please make sure you give me a thumbs up or if you don't like the content just give me a thumbs up anyway I mean you know it's all good so um, share the love right so um, that's all I gotta say and for those of you who came I was like you're regularly seeing this and uh, you're watching this at the same time I want to say thank you for all your support by the way and uh, it really means a lot to me and uh, Um, I really do appreciate it. So I think this time around, this is life. It's going to be very short and sweet because something that I experienced and I think I experienced this about three days ago. So I just want to share this to all of you. I think it's just the right time for me to share this topic. Karena menurut aku, uh, di dalam this is life ini, uh, apa ya, uh, <laughs> dalam this is life ini adalah sesuatu yang aku ngalami dalam hidupnya aku and then I like to share di dalam this is life ini so that way you guys know what I went through at the same time if you went through the same thing also like me and um, kalian will know how to handle it and how I handle it and maybe it, it's an it's an example for you guys all right so I uh, just want to let me uh, letting you know out there um, I've I'm starting something like a, a, a project and um, I, I mean I'm so packed up and I'm so busy currently right now but you know I I, I really commit myself to just focus on this platform yang namanya YouTube jadi aku fokus di dalam sini so you know it's very easy to find me and uh, if you guys uh, you know uh, come back and you probably know that this is life is always gonna be here every single week so I've been streaming this week and I'm gonna stream games again on Saturday and Sunday as you all know this is life is not my only apa ya is not my only session aku juga ada yang namanya yes gaming di dalam weekendnya itu and then I normally stream games on the on the weekend and I love gaming currently right now I I've, I've been downloading a lot of uh apa ya, a lot of uh, games to play and for me to stream uh, <laughs> so I just want to let you know hold on a second let me just reply this whatsapp
yeah, so let's get started. I want to say hello to Ryan. Ryan just came here. Ryan, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it for dropping by. It really means a lot. Thanks so much. And um, let's get started with This Is Live. <laughs> hopefully you're, uh, apa? Hopefully you're uh, baik baik aja, sehat sehat aja, Ryan. And let's get started, okay? So today's This Is Live is a bit. Uh, I, I think you all heard the topicnya. Kayaknya kalian juga pernah dengar topiknya ini. Uh, topiknya itu it's It's a, it's a topic yang orang jarang jarang obrolin tapi banyak orang yang punya yang jadi banyak orang yang punya jadi teman aku juga banyak yang punya yang namanya symptomsnya ini aku sebutnya symptoms ya Ryan bilang how are you coach I'm great I'm awesome thank you so much Ryan I really do appreciate it yeah how are you hope you, hope you're awesome also at the same time hope you're apa ya uh, always healthy at the same time also thank you so much for dropping in yeah so uh, let me talk about today's uh, uh, topic and um, I think you know this and do you have a friend like currently oh, Maksudnya kamu punya lu punya teman enggak sih yang yang selalu mikirin apa yang dia takut apa yang terjadi terus uh, dia kayak mikirin terlalu banyak dan akhirnya uh, dia worry too much yang namanya bingung atau mau gimana and uh, you know uh, and 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 you, you, you Kamu punya teman seperti kayak gini yang selalu worry, selalu dia pokoknya disuruh apa dia selalu bilang aduh nggak bisa deh, ntar kayak gini disuruh ini juga ntar dia bilang aduh nggak bisa deh takut karena ini. Jadi uh, I'm sure you have a friend like that. And recently four four days ago, I mean I I have a friend. I'm I'm not gonna tell you his or her name, but I'll just let you know. Okay, I have a friend who has these symptoms. The symptoms itu dia terlalu yang disebutnya today's topic yang namanya overthinking. And uh, I I know that you a lot of us have friends like that and they over think quite a lot and uh, this is one of those symptoms that I think uh, a lot of people say it cannot be changed there's a word for this I think namanya adalah namanya anxiety uh, symptoms atau uh, depressed or I, I don't know I mean a lot of people name a lot of things but I'm just letting you know there's other symptoms like this di, lalu, di luar sana yang namanya orang tuh selalu overthinking mereka memikirkan sesuatu terlalu banyak and akhirnya dia ngerasa bahwa yang namanya uh, yang namanya Um, mau ngelakuin sesuatu itu menjadi takut jadi ada barrier untuk mereka melangkah ini tuh menghindar mereka untuk potensialnya mereka untuk keluar and I think and I should I should just share this to you but I'm not gonna tell you the name I think four days ago um, I know that my friend has the symptoms yang namanya overthinking and then but it didn't it didn't went into the peak point it, it didn't go to the highest point which is four days ago why because four days ago uh, he uh, he or she uh, jadi kesebut yang namanya he ya, he actually wanted to go to a university dan uh, kuliahnya dia harusnya di luar negeri tapi sebelum gini ya menurut aku kesempatan beasiswanya itu dia udah dapat menurut aku dia orangnya pintar banget lebih pintar dari aku padahal and, and, and educationnya dia luar biasa banget jadi background educationnya dia keren banget tapi at the same time when I was sitting down in a cafe with him and then he actually turned around to me dia bilang kayak gini I'm gonna turn down the The scholarship uh, interview dia untuk keluar negeri katanya. And I said why? I said why, dude? I mean, it's opportunity for you to ke keluar negeri, right? And then for sure, kalau aku ngeliat temannya aku ini, dia nggak kekurangan uang karena menurut aku dia financially stable. Apalagi keluarganya juga. Dan menurut aku keluarganya juga bisa support dia untuk keluar negeri. So I asked them though. I asked them aku bilang ini. So why don't you want to register? Why don't you want to masuk ke dalam entrance exam scholarshipnya ini? Terus dia bilang kayak ini. Aduh nggak tahu deh. Ntar examnya kalau misalnya nggak lulus kayak gimana? Atau misalnya ntar pertanyaannya pakai bahasa Inggris. Aku ntar makan. Aku agak sedikit susah bahasa Inggris. Terus dia bilang lagi. Aduh aku takut deh Ntar pasti banyak yang daftar And akhirnya Cuman dipilihnya Cuman dua atau tiga Udah pastilah Aku nggak bakalan bisa Dia bilang kayak gitu And salah satu lagi Dia bilang Salah satu alasannya lagi Dia bilang kayak gini Itu kan kuliah yang Mahal banget ya Kuliah yang terkenal banget Jadi dia bilang kayak Kuliah, kuliah yang terkenal Atau yang mahal banget Nggak mungkin lah Aku bisa masuk di dalam situ And I started to sit down Next to him And I finally ask myself Kayak Oh man Kayak Kayak all of these things yang barusan yang barusan kamu bilang, all of these things, it's it's the it's the result atau itu adalah yang namanya symptoms yang dari yang namanya overthinking. Nah, kebanyakan orang, a lot of people out there, they say overthinking cannot be cured. Yang namanya memikirkan terlalu banyak, depressed dan lain sebagainya nggak bisa cure. Personally, from me, I don't know. You might go against my uh, opinion, tapi aku cuma bilang sama kalian semuanya yang ada di sini. Semuanya that's internally di dalam kita itu we can control it. Let me tell you. I promise you we can. Jadi semuanya yang kita pikirkan, semuanya yang kita ngerasakan dalam dirinya kita, itu kita bisa kontrol. Bahkan aku pernah share di sini di this live juga ada satu uh, apa ya? Ada satu formula yang namanya E ditambah R sama dengan O, which is yang namanya event plus response. Eh, ya yeah, response sama dengan yang namanya outcome-nya itu. Nah, outcome-nya itu sebetulnya bukan yang paling penting. Yang paling penting adalah response-nya itu kita sendiri. Jadi kalau misalnya you want to do something in life dan kamu takut untuk maju atau kamu kebanyakan mikir, you're overthinking about it. 
And akhirnya semua this kind of Dari small fear yang kamu tadinya punya And akhirnya fearnya itu menjadi besar And besar and besar and besar Akhirnya klik nggak jadi Akhirnya nggak terjadi apa yang kamu mau Dalam hidupnya kamu And that's the key Jadi aku lagi duduk di situ I was sitting next to him And I asked myself Why, why can't you just Have a go into the ex- into the entrance scholarship exam. Kenapa enggak? And then dia bilang, terus kalau if I fail, dia bilang gitu, if I fail, terus I'm demotivated, terus aku sedih, terus kamu mau tanggung jawab, dia bilang kayak gitu. And that was the ultimatum in my friendship, let me tell you. Aku, te- aku kasih tahu ya. Dia nengok aku, dia bilang, kalau misalnya aku sedih, terus aku gagal, dia bilang, kamu mau responsible untuk, untuk rasa failure-nya aku. Terus aku bilang sama dia, what's wrong with failing? Like, what's wrong with failing? Everyone fails in life. I failed so much in life. Like, hopefully you, hopefully you guys, if you're watching this currently right now and watching this at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, what's wrong with failing? There's nothing wrong with failing. M- my point adalah gini, if you don't do your best kepada apa yang kamu mau, then you won't know you're gonna succeed atau fail kan? That's the key kan? Yang paling serem dalam hidupnya ini adalah kalau kamu nggak berani melangkah and akhirnya kamu nggak tahu kamu bisa sukses atau at least hasilnya failure itu maksud aku kayak gitu tuh. And that overthinking gets you really going. So for those of you guys watching this right now, you probably notice at the end of this live, you probably know there's a couple of things that you have to be aware of. There's a couple of things that you have to know. Ada sesuberapa yang aku mau share di sini bahwa kalian harus tahu overthinking it does you no good. And in fact, not long ago, aku masuk ke dalam satu TikTok. Ada satu orang dia post sesuatu dan dia bilang bahwa you know aku overthinking banget. Biasanya aku harus healing pergi ke sini dan ke sana. Aku nggak masalah dengan wherever you need to go to heal I don't mind but there's just this one thing where you overthink I mean aku gak ngambil topiknya ini lightly sih sebetulnya don't get me wrong I know some of you guys are thinking bahwa you know yang namanya overthinking itu mungkin you take it so lightly Ricky not that maksud aku adalah gini intinya garis besarnya adalah yang namanya overthinking it can be controlled by who? by you It can be controlled by us And menurut aku overthinking itu mulainya dari kita sendiri So, let's get started with today's slide So, oleh karena itu, let me show you the slide I've got this slide, fantastically, really cool slide Aku dapat slide-nya ini dari Limitless Motivation Dari Instagram, guys If you want to go over through uh, the Instagram Untuk, you know, kasih dia like atau love Atau yang lainnya lah Atau follow mereka, it'd be very nice So, so um, they actually give me this poster Untuk aku ngomongin a little bit about it So, yang di posternya itu sebetulnya ditulisnya adalah Overthinking is the is the biggest cause of unhappiness. Uh, menurut aku setuju banget sih. Like the more you overthink, the more it takes it it, it grogotin, you know, it's like the, it's biting through your happiness, it's biting through your fear, it's biting through everything until you overthink so much sampai kamu potensialnya itu enggak muncul. But you have to know something that I'm overthinking ini So maybe by the end of this life, you feel much better listening to me when I give you the explanation of what I think about yang namanya overthinking itu seperti apa. And hopefully, I don't know, uh, if you guys are not in my opinion, uh, I don't mind. But this is the way I think about overthinking. So let me clear this out first. Hopefully you guys understand what I mean. You guys ready? Hear this. There's a couple of things that you should know when when you overthink, when you're depressed, when you're thinking too much, when you worry too much. There's a couple of things that you should know. There's actually three things. It's always three things. Number one. The number one thing is you have to know it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> Isn't it so weird? Kayak when you overthink something, itu belum terjadi. Jadi kamu baru mikirin aja nih di dalam kepalanya kamu. Tapi kap- apakah itu udah terjadi? Belum toh. Jadi kayak teman aku ini kalau dia mau masuk yang namanya scholarship, entrance exam, terus dia bilang kayak gini, aduh ntar kalau aku gagal, ujiannya susah gimana? Tapi kan itu dia belum tahu. It's just his feeling, it's just his thoughts, it's his thinking that's playing with him. And at the same time, itu belum terjadi. Belum tentu. Pertanyaannya susah you know guys Dan belum tentu juga dia akan gagal Di dalam yang namanya entrance examnya ini Jadi aku cuma mau bilang adalah overthinking It's it's like giving interest Atau investment kepada sesuatu Yang belum terjadi dalam hidupnya kamu So you have to know something If you overthink so much You have to stop and ask yourself Has this happened yet? And let me tell you Out of, uh, out of 90 to 80 in, uh, 90 to 8, 98% Itu belum terjadi Belum tentu apa yang kamu pikirin itu akan terjadi So it hasn't happened yet So what does it mean? So let me ask you this one question If things hasn't happened And you're already thinking about it Is, isn't that absurd? Like, it's absurd banget kan? I mean, it doesn't make sense. I mean, it's okay to worry. I mean, at the same as at, at the same time, I know you guys are watching this right now, kayak bilang, ya, ka, tapi kan it's okay kalau kita takut kan? Ya, yeah, it's okay kalau kamu takut, tapi over takut itu nggak okay. Kalau kamu over fear is not okay. 
kamu takut nggak apa-apa banyak orang di luar sana aku juga pernah takut kok tapi at, at the end of the day aku mau kasih tau sama kamu if it hasn't happened yet don't overthink it like just do it and at least kalau kamu maju dan kamu bisa ngelakuin apa yang kamu mau hasilnya itu pasti ketahuan I'm very sorry nggak semuanya kalau aku bilang guys just do it kalian maju k- kalian lakukan nggak semuanya sukses aku kasih tahu dulu di awal not everything that you do with encouragement with confidence with braveness itu hasilnya selalu sukses Enggak, there's no guarantee in life Tapi at least you will know kan At least kamu tahu bahwa I did my best Kalau if I fail ya udah. The key is very simple Do not overthink before it hasn't happened yet Itu kayak kamu ngambil Gak tau deh dulu kalian masih kecil Suka ini gak dapat satu kelas Dimana kamu harus nanam yang namanya jagung Pernah gak di kapas di ka- satu cup kayak gitu Itu sama seperti kayak gitu konsepnya Artinya kayak gimana Jadi yang namanya let's say jagungnya ini adalah Your fear, your worriness, your overthinking Kalau setiap hari kamu yang namanya Siram pakai air Udah pasti it will grow You get what I mean? It will grow Jadi no matter what you think, what you fear of What you're scared of, what you don't like doing what the, uh, At the end of the day Kalau kamu If you if you put water on it, it will grow eventually. And when it grows, that's when it becomes very very tiring for people physically and mentally. And uh, that's all I gotta say. And I wanna say uh, Ryan bilang ini, I'm good. Baru pulang dari retret kayak kata Ryan. Nice. So let me read out the comments here. I gotta say since when you start on stage or teaching some people, I guess it, exactly Isabella is here. Hana juga. Thank you so much for coming here. I really do appreciate it. I mean. Uh, That is so right, Hannah. I mean, I mean, Isabel, it's so right. Like, like when I when I teach, when I train, you guys know I'm a trainer, right? And and uh, every time I go up, every time I finish my session, everyone always say, "Wow, you! It looks like you never get scared." Don't get me wrong, I get scared when before I go up, like I get scared. But you have to know something. If I'm scared before I go up, then there's no trainer to teach that day. That means I'm if I if I'm scared and I. And I and I let that scaredness and I, re, I I let that fear takes over me. That means that day saya nggak akan maju ke dalam stage. That means that day hari itu aku nggak bakalan muncul dalam stage-nya itu untuk ngajar. You get what I mean, right? Jadi aku mau bilang teman aku, he's probably watching this right now currently. So aku cuma mau bilang sama kamu ya, kalau kamu belum melakukan dan kamu di awalnya udah mikir kamu gagal dan kamu nggak bisa ujiannya susah dan segala macam, you're never going to make it in life. It hasn't happened yet. Belum terjadi. Kalau belum terjadi, do not overthink it. That's it, kok. Number two, did you know that every time you overthink, it's making you unwell? Ah, let me tell you something. It's making you unwell because it starts from one thing. Mulainya dari satu hal yang kamu overthink, and akhirnya besokannya kalau ada sesuatu yang baru, itu kamu jadi overthinking menaik itu lagi. Dan besokannya kalau ada sesuatu yang baru lagi, dan kamu menjadi overthinking itu lagi. And don't tell me di dalam life-nya ini kalian bilang uh, k- kamu nonton aku bilang kayak gini. Enggak lah. It, kalau itu cuma sekali aja, besok mungkin aku lebih berani lagi. No, let me tell you, it doesn't work that way. We are a creature of habit. Habit itu adalah di mana kalau saya ngelakuin sesuatu dan itu rasa enak gitu kayak gini kayak bilang aduh aku nggak berani nih aku nggak berani maju nih aku nggak berani lakukan di mana aku ngelakuin sesuatu dan aku nggak berani besokannya ini yang rasa ini rasa lari dari masalah ini besokannya you will do the same thing that's what you call habit kalau kalian baca bukunya dari James Clear namanya Atomic Habits dia pernah bilang bahwa habits itu won't happen habits itu nggak akan terjadi kalau nggak continuously kamu berulang-ulang dan ngerasa seneng dengan apa yang kamu lakuin dia nggak pernah bilang habit yang negatif Jadi artinya adalah habit yang negatif, yang positif. Kalau kamu udah ngelakuin itu 2-3 kali, itu menjadi kebiasaan buat kamu. And until kebiasaannya itu berja- berjalan dan jadi, and akhirnya kamu nggak bisa lari dari yang namanya, kalau ada masalah baru nih, it's time for me to run away. You get what I mean, right? It's time for me to run away. And in that, guys, you need to break that pattern. Patternnya itu harus diputuskan. Artinya adalah, kalau kamu punya tugas sesuatu yang kamu kira bahwa, wah, tugasnya ini gede banget. It doesn't have to be overthinking. Maybe di sekolah kamu dikasih tugas sama guru, dan kamu bilang, how can I do this? I'm just a new student. Atau aku nggak punya uh, experience-nya. How can I ever make this task? Gimana aku bisa jalanin tugasnya ini? Kan aku anak sekolah baru. I need you to break that pattern. Jadi setelah kamu ngerasa itu, kamu harus... Dan kamu harus ingat apa yang aku bilang sama kalian yang ada di sini. Ingat. In fact, if you keep on doing it, it's gonna make you unwell. Itu belum terjadi kok. Just do it kok. Semakin kamu ngelakuin ini terus menerus dengan hal-hal yang baru, it's gonna make you unwell in life. 
I mean it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna hold you back into the new things. Aku cuma mau kasih tahu this life has a lot of opportunity waiting for you. Kemarin aku baru training, aku bilang opportunity itu banyak orang. Orang tuh banyak ngerasa bahwa opportunity kesempatan itu datang hanya hanya sekali. I don't believe that's nonsense. Let me tell you, that's BS. Yang namanya kesempatan, yang namanya opportunity will come every single day. Why? Because today's opportunity is gonna be different than tomorrow's opportunity, and tomorrow's opportunity is gonna be different than next week's opportunity. You have to know this. Maksudnya, don't don't believe in something. Dimana kalian ngerasa bahwa dari dulu tuh aku diaj- aku diajarin bahwa yang namanya opportunity itu cuma datang sekali. Kalau kamu udah kelewatan, akhirnya kamu ngerasa bahwa ya udah ya udah lewat ini uh, waktunya. No, opportunity itu akan datang setiap hari. Hanya berbeda opportunity setiap hari yang akan datang ke kamu. Oleh karena itu, kalau opportunitynya itu nggak diambil, if you overthink too much, it's gonna make you so unwell. At the end of the day, every single time kamu dapat tugas, kamu akan langsung apa ya ditangkis gitu tugasnya. Kayak selalu alasan yang muncul. Pernah punya nggak sih teman yang kayak gini? Kamu bilang, eh hey, eh hey, guys guys tomorrow ya, gimana kalau kita gini? Terus temannya bilang gini, aduh nggak bisa, ada gini. Selalu ada alasan yang dia nggak bisa dan dia nggak mau. That's yang disebutnya unwell. Yang terakhir, yang yang terakhir adalah di sini adalah now it's making you unwell but it's not only you. It's making people around you juga unwell. Kenapa? Because the people around you, they care about you and they want to make sure you are okay. Oleh karena itu, biasanya orang yang overthinking, dia nggak tahu bahwa nggak hanya dia aja yang ngerasa itu, tapi orang lain di sekitarnya juga ngerasa kasihan sama dia. Ya, yeah, I said it. I mean, if all, all of you guys right now listen to my stream and you're watching this tomorrow at 10 o'clock and kalian bilang, ha, kasihan, that's a big word for you to say. Masa kita kasihan sama orang? Come on, there's no other word for it. Kalau kamu punya teman yang overthink, depress, anxiety semuanya ini, it doesn't make you un- I mean it's not only making you unwell, the person unwell, but it's making everyone else around you unwell. And when it makes everyone the rest of you unwell, it's just an awkward feeling let me tell you. Oleh karena itu, kadang-kadang ada teman yang mau bantu kita, ada teman yang kasih nasihat ke kita, ada teman yang dengerin nasihatnya itu. Kadang-kadang when you overthink, the only thing you listen to is the voice inside you, right? I mean, everyone has a voice inside you. I have a voice inside me. Everyone has a voice inside yourself. And this voice, there is the voice yang sebelah kiri. There is a voice yang sebelah kanan. And I just want to let you know something. This voice sebelah kiri sama voice sebelah kanan, itu dua-duanya adalah always rejecting one another. Pertanyaan Ricky sekarang adalah, which voice do you want to listen to? That's the key. Sometimes kamu udah tahu you're depressed. Sometimes kamu udah tahu you're overthinking. Tapi kalau kamu udah tahu kayak gitu, sometimes yang didengerin itu bukan voice yang positif, tapi voice yang negatif di dalam kepalanya kita yang kita dengerin. Voice itu yang berulang-ulang bahwa you're no good, you're uh, you're you're bad, you cannot do it, you don't have the experience, you don't have the money to do it, you don't have the time to do it, you don't have what it's what it takes to do it. I don't think so. You can do it. All of these things are all nonsense. All of these things are just. It's things that's gonna make you even overthink a lot more. Oleh karena itu, aku cuma mau bilang teman-teman semuanya yang ada di sini deh. If you're overthinking, remember one thing: it's not only you that's unwell; it's also other people around them that's unwell. Tapi I will want, I want to finish this life by not telling you kalau gini. Kalau if you're overthinking, artinya adalah you're you're unwell. No, that's not my point. My point adalah dari awal aku udah pernah bilang. Yang namanya overthinking ini, you can control it kok. Control yourself. Control it. There's a couple of ways you can actually control these things. But let me just recap everything for you again. Remember ya, yeah, sometimes overthinking, that's what is the cause of getting your ha- happiness away from you. Overthinking is the cause that takes all the happiness away from you. Oleh karena itu, there's three things you need to know that I just mentioned just now. Number one, it hasn't happened yet, so stop thinking about it. It hasn't happened yet, and stop saying about it. It hasn't happened yet, so stop forcing yourself to think that's gonna happen. It hasn't happened yet. Number two, it's gonna make you unwell. It's physically and mentally very tiring. I know it, Ko. Why? Because I have a friend like this. I have a very close friend who's like this. So when you know it's making you tired physically and mentally, control your overthinking. Control it. And the last one, if it's making you unwell, 
It's also making other people around you feel whatever you feel. Because I think emotion and feeling is very contagious. That's why sometimes when you guys watch me in my live, I get a lot of DM and say, you know, whenever you're alive, Ricky, you're so energetic, you know, you're very passionate talking about it. Yeah, because I want you when the person who's watching this currently right now or maybe at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, I want you to feel my energy also whenever I train, whenever I talk in front of here, whenever I do my life. Because what I know in my life, throughout my life, that in my career that I learned, that emotion, energy, and feelings it can affect other people also and it's contagious it's other people can actually grab your feeling at the same time oleh karena itu for everyone inside the zoom before i leave this and i'm almost ending currently right now it has been 25 minutes before i leave this i'm not going to leave this with knowing that you know if you're overthinking you're unwell no you're actually well ko you're actually okay it's just that you have to just sit down for a while and stay grounded Sit down, kamu duduk, dan kamu benar-benar pakai dua telapak kaki and just duduk for a while and think about it. Maksud aku bukan think, think masalahnya, tapi ask yourself these things. Has it happened? Udah terjadi kah? Apa kamu yakin itu pasti akan terjadi? No, right? Ini semua karena pikirannya kita aja. Oleh karena itu, there's a couple of things that you need to know why. Number one. You can always go to someone and talk. You can go to me and share your feelings. You can go to my Instagram, A Ricky Sorosa. I'm always there. I'm always replying my DM. And I'm just telling you, if you need, need someone to talk to, I'm always there to talk to you. And I'm willing to do my best to actually make you feel better. There's always someone to talk to. Don't ever say to yourself that you're alone in the world. No, that's nonsense. You have friends, you have families, you have best friends. There's a lot of people that you can actually talk to. Talk to them, share your feelings, share your thoughts. The worst part is that I want you to know is at the end of the day, if you don't share your feelings to other people, you don't feel that burden is lift off from you. Maksudnya bebannya itu nggak keluar dari kalian. And akhirnya bebannya kalau nggak keluar dari kalian, akhirnya... Snaps, and when it snaps, let me tell you, you'll think of things that you're not supposed to think of. You think of things that's so dangerous, and kalian akan mikirin sesuatu yang paling bahaya dalam hidupnya kalian. Kadang-kadang kalau kita udah nggak kuat, bebannya udah terlalu banyak, akhirnya you snap. Then when you snap, there's no one that can help you except you just need to pray. That's it. So before you snap into go into that position, I want to let you know something. It hasn't happened. So stop. Overthinking about things in this life. I'll give you an illustration. I have a I have a tumbler here. Like if I hold the tumbler in, in a very straight hand that I have, right? And when I hold this tumbler with straight hand, and actually the tumbler is full with water, it's full of water, right? So if I ask you, is my tumbler? If I hold my tumbler like this, like let me ask you, is my tumbler heavy for me? Like my weight is 90 something plus, right? If I hold this tumbler in my hand, do you think I think the tumbler is heavy? Of course not, right? Because everyone's watching this currently and I, you'll probably say, no, the tumbler is very easy to to grab. Of course, that's why I'm grabbing it right now. That's why I'm lifting it right now. But you see, the tumbler has water inside it. So what does that mean? If you don't share this water to other people, if you don't share your stories to other people, if you don't share your fear to other people, if you don't share your worry to other people to lift up your burden, it's going to be heavy. Do you know why? Because I've just hold this tumbler for about 30 seconds just now. And I'm holding it here with nothing. Like I got nothing resting on my hand. I'm holding it right now. If I want to tell you, I've been lifting this for 30 seconds. And I can tell you right now, this tumbler was was very light at the beginning. Tapi now, it became, it has weight. Like sekarang tuh, I'm starting to feel the pain in my hand currently right now in my shoulder, in my hand, and on my wrist. And I gotta tell you something, if you keep on holding it and you don't share whatever you went through, uh, kesedi- mungkin bukan kesedihan, ke apa ya, ke, ke gondoknya kalian gak share ke orang lain, atau kamu gak mau share yang namanya kesalahannya kalian, sebelnya kalian ke orang lain, akhirnya kamu pegang terus kan, dan bebannya itu ada di kamu, semakin lama kamu pegang, oh my goodness, let me tell you, this is pain. Uh, semakin lama kamu pegang tumblernya ini, semakin Makin lama kamu hold on to your troubles and your fear, akhirnya tumblernya ini sama kayak bebannya kamu menjadi berat. 
Sekarang aku udah pegang tumblernya ini dalam satu menit lebih lah. Let's see how long I can hold this tumbler dalam satu menit. There's nothing that's holding me back. But if you wanna know something, I'm starting to sweat. Why? Because it's just painful. It's just painful. Uh, I'm just, I, I just can't do it. Look, it's just too painful. Look, I've gone over one minute and 30 seconds. Let's see if I can go more than one minute and 30 seconds holding this tumbler. I want you to remind, I want to remind you something. This illustration is not about gimana caranya untuk megang tumbler ini segitu lamanya. Tapi aku mau bilang bahwa tumbler ini di dalamnya ada air. Sama kayak dirinya kita. Dirinya kita juga ada hal-hal yang kita nggak suka dalam hidupnya ini. Ada hal-hal yang kita pikirkan. Ada hal-hal yang kita sebel. Ada hal-hal yang kita takutkan. Ada hal-hal yang kita nggak suka. Kalau itu nggak di-share, dicurhatin sama temennya kamu. Akhirnya kan airnya nggak kemana-mana di dalam sini nih guys. It has been two minutes and... 15 seconds It has been 2 minutes and 15 seconds Now let me tell you This tumbler is super heavy Let me tell you I can tell you right now Tumblernya ini dari sebelumnya Itu nggak ada apa-apanya sebelumnya guys Sebelumnya pas aku angkat tumblernya itu It's okay sih But now I wanna tell you something My my shoulder here My shoulder And my shoulder here My elbow here And my wrist It's purely in pain Why? Because it cannot hold the tumbler anymore. Like, like I'm telling you right now. Like my hand is shaking curly right now. It, it cannot hold the tumbler. Simulasinya ini itu perfect banget bagi orang yang overthinking. Semakin lama kamu pegang tumblernya, semakin lama kamu pegang dengan perasaannya, semakin lama kamu pegang dengan takutnya, itu akan menjadi berat beban dan akhirnya it's gonna make you unwell. Guys, I have to tell you, I'm about to finish off the three minutes holding the tumbler. I don't think so I can hold it anymore. You see that? I'm like shaking. It's like so heavy. Why? Because my muscle here cannot hold on to the small tumbler. Bahwa tumblernya itu, I can tell you, it's lightweight banget, tapi it's so painful. So you get my illustration, right? So you get my idea, right? Overthinking is no good for you at all. For you to think, yes, oh, it's okay. For you to worry, it's fine. But not overthink and not over worry. Because at the end of the day, if you do all those kind of things, it's gonna give you pain right now, like my hand. And to tell you, Scott, I've gone over three minutes and 40 seconds. Guys, I think I'm gonna stop this because my hand is really cramping right now and I won't be able to hold it. As you can see, my hand is shaking curly right now. My elbow is in pain. My, um, my shoulder is in pain. My elbow is in pain. My wrist is in pain. I won't be able to hold this longer anymore. But I gotta tell you something. Share your burden to other people. Share bebannya kamu ke orang lain. The more you share, the more will people give you input. The more people will give you advice. The more you get advice, the more, <laughs> the better life is going to be. I mean, friends out there are meant to be there to help you. People out there are meant to be there to help you out with your life. You know, they're not going to give you the solution. But they're gonna help you out with your life, guys. Three minutes. Ah, oh, man, four minutes right there. Four minutes. My hands in pain. I gotta tell you something. I gotta. I gotta stop this. I gotta stop this. It's in pain so much. So, before I finish today's uh, live stream, I just want to say, guys, I'm gonna keep this here still, you guys. So I haven't, I haven't put down my hand, but it's still in pain. I gotta tell you something, okay, guys? Right. That's it. I hope you guys enjoy today's life life lessons and this is live sessions and I want to say thank you so much. Let me read out some comments that the Hannah yang ada di sini katanya. Um, Uh, uh, okay, by the way, how did you know where there is 700 things in Singapore? Yes, I knew. I flew over to Singapore. I kind of looked it up in the internet. Ah, pain. Now, four minutes and 30 seconds. I haven't put my hand down. Uh, I actually went to Singapore. I went to search it, uh, Hannah, and I went around and I just decided to make a content in uh, in, in, in Singapore. I mean, I, I'm, I'm very happy that you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. But um, uh, there's other... Uh, there's more hunted content also out there. Okay, um, thank you, Ryan, for being here. I really do appreciate it yeah, for staying all the way. My hand's still in pain, guys, so I'm just gonna bring this down a little bit before I finish today's session. Guys, before you leave, it really helps me a lot if you give me that like button uh, before you go out. And also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, yes? So you you get uh, uh, you get a notification whenever I am live. You get a notification whenever I upload uh, a session in YouTube. In that, guys, I don't know what I'm saying because I'm in pain currently right now. Uh, oh, Ryan is going to Singapore. Good luck, Ryan. Okay, if you go to any MRT in Singapore, yeah, uh, you should watch my vlog first. Okay, Seven Haunted MRT station in Singapore. Okay, guys, it's been five minutes and 30 seconds. My hand is in pain already. I can't hold it anymore. I want to say thank you so. Ah, <laughs> uh, my hand in pain. Okay, I can't take it anymore. Ah, oh, man, pain. 
So I gotta say thank you so much for everyone. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Uh, tomorrow I have a vlog up uploaded. So watch that. I'll be playing a game. I think it's a really cool game that I'm playing. Oh my goodness, my, my hand. There's a game that I'm playing tomorrow. So watch that vlog if you're into uh, gaming. Uh, it's gonna be in this, this platform also in YouTube channel. Go look for it. And then on Saturday and Sunday, I'm gonna live stream games together, like live, live stream together. And at the same time, oh my goodness, my hand pain. Uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, guys, I want to say thank you so much. You guys take care. For uh, Ryan and Isabella inside here, thank you so much for coming in. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you guys very, very soon. I love you all. I love you guys. And stay safe and stay happy at the same time. You guys take care. I'll see you guys very soon. Good. Bye. Falling on your feet, do you finally see what you're missing? You're just one lost soul. It'll break the mold when you see me. Do you Somebody let the sun come up again What you need is the heat of the sun